Hello everyone, it's been a while now since the last time I upload Unreal Engine tutorial. I'm really sorry about it, but well anyway, let's just continue with it. So here I would like to sh share to you guys how I set up Area of Effect. And for this time, I would like to apply it into um, Kwang's F ability, which is this one. Okay, and you, maybe you guys could apply it to another Kwang's ability, like the R ability. But well, to make it simple for this tutorial, I'll just apply it to the F ability. Okay, and let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I would like to create a new function over here. Let's just call it with AOE. And then I would like to add very first input and it would be a factor. And it would be a location. And then for the next one, would be float as a radius. Next thing, I would like to um, call draw debug sphere. Mm, just connect it like this. Location to the center, radius also to the radius, and then the line color. For the line color, I would like to change it into red, so it will be easy for us to see it. Duration, let's say 2, and the thickness will also 2. Okay, next thing, I would like to call here overlap actors, then location to spear position, radius to spear radius. Okay, as for the object types, I would like to make an array. And then I will change it to pawn. As for actors to ignore, um, let's say make array. And then um, reference to self. Next, if it is yes, okay, so it's called branch. If it is yes, then let's do for each loop. And then as for the array element, let's promote it into a variable. And call, name it as current enemies. Okay, and here I would like to check does implement interface if it is yes then apply damage the damage actor would be our current enemies then let's create feature node well, actually as simple as that. But before I continue, I would like to connect the interface over here to the input. So, wait. okay, and name it as enemy PPI. And also I would like to connect the base image. To the inputs. Okay, we are done with the function. So let's go back to our F ability and then let's add a new pin and call for our AOE function. As for the location, let's call current. Oh, sorry, get actor location ok 
Okay. The radius. Okay, let's see. 200. And then let's promote it into a variable. Let's name it RMB. Um, radius. Nah, this one. As for the anime BPI. Um, I would like to go to my enemy. Okay, and then let's create a new blueprint interface. Name it as enemy BPI. Okay, and let's go to our enemy BB over here. And then I would like to go to the class setting here under the interface. I would like to add uh, current the, 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 the enemy BPI. Okay. And then let's compile it. After that, let's go back to our player BB over here. And then select the class. Let's promote it into a variable. As for the base damage, let's say five. And also let's um promote it into a variable. Okay, before we test it, I would like to do a quick setup for the enemy's health so we could see it clearly whether our function is working or not. Okay, let's test it up. Here, yep, it works. As you guys could see, um, at top left cor corner, um, the enemy's health um decrease is decreasing as I press um the F ability. Okay, so everything works well. Um, well, maybe some of you guys would ask me that why am I didn't use apply radial damage? Because this is the fastest, the easiest way to create an AOE, but the thing is that yeah, well, first of all, I'm comfortable with this function. And then the second one, if I use this uh, function, the apply radial damage function, then um, if in the future I will have paths and then teammates, so I would like, I will have to make a long array of the ignore actors. Um, which is, I think, is quite troublesome for me, because well, I think that um, the easiest way to do is just connect um all of the enemies into one BPI, and then just simply connect it with this the simple one interface, okay, and then yeah. I think that's all for this tutorial, so I will wrap it up here and I'll continue this tutorial with um, setting up health, mana, and then stamina bar and ADC, so yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode, bye!